Now, what you're going to see tonight is not a traditional debate. When the topic comes up, I no longer ask people, do you believe in evolution? The question I ask is, do you understand evolution? How sad is this? How sad is it that in today's state of affairs with poverty, education, crime, and war hindering the true possibilities of human progress, we must waste our time in public discourse arguing about something like homosexuality? What are the arguments we have to face to overcome this persecution once and for all? Is it the tradition argument? Let us discuss other issues that were our traditions in history. <clears throat> Slavery, the segregation of blacks and public access to water fountains, restaurants, and transportation. Anti-Semitism, the discrimination of the rights of women to vote. Roughly half of the human race there. Do we still publicly allow these traditions to be carried on? How is it in the 21st century, in 2012, we are still fighting for this obvious equal right? Is it to protect the sanctity of marriage? I would ask where the sanctity is. <clears throat> this summer, July 20th, I will be getting married to an amazing woman here in the audience tonight. I am so excited to share that moment, words cannot do it justice. To think that there are people out there who love as I do, who wish to be recognized by their fellow citizens, but will be denied this right, is appalling. And I truly look forward to the day when it is nothing but a page in our history books. Ladies and gentlemen, I come before you today to explain why we should not legalize same-sex marriage. The first thing that we need to do in having this discussion is examine what those words mean. We are not examining the philosophical reasons behind marriage. We are not examining the religious context of marriage. We are examining the question of what is the state's compelling reason to endorse same-sex marriages. We absolutely applaud the advancement of human society. We applaud the advancement of human morality. We do not applaud the attempts made by the gentleman to smear our side of the argument by equating us with slavers, by equating us with those who deny women the right to vote. But why does the state have an interest in marriage? The reason for this is simple. Children. Marriage is essentially a procreative union. It is between a man and a woman because they have the unique ability to bring forward children into the world. Now, we're talking about same-sex marriage, not children. So, why am I talking about children? Because that is the state's interest in marriage. You'll note, the state does not regulate, does not require licensing for other kinds of free association. All I can address is the gentleman's point that what we're talking about here is love and the validation of love. Which means that every one of you here who has ever been in a relationship and has not been married, everything you felt was nonsense. Everything you felt was illusory because you didn't have any kind of state validation of your relationship. That is the gentleman's argument. 